All right, how you guys doing? This is a July 30th update, so the end of July here. Um, I want to kind of give an update on the patch. Last time I did it was probably about three weeks ago. And uh, last night we had a pretty heavy storm, so you'll see some rolled over vines, things like that. But it uh, looks like with the heavy rains and winds, uh, I lucked out on a lot of damage or issues. So no hail or anything like that, which is good. Um, just some vines that got to be straightened up um, and uh, tended to make sure there's no cracks or anything like that. But we'll take a look at the pumpkins. Um, this is the 1858 Schmidt. Uh, this is my slowest grower, but it is picking up a little bit of pace now. Um, don't really have an estimate on this one. I usually do it on Saturdays. Uh, this one's at 38 days old tomorrow. Um, and I'm just hoping to get this one to a thousand pounds. So, um, out the gate, it had some stem rot issues. I ended up having to cut the stump off and, uh, with some foamy stump, it, uh, it just would not, it was, it's too wet of an area. I got clay soil here and I'm on a hill. So the water comes down the hill and comes right through here. And, uh, one thing I'll have to do is work on drainage on this side of the patch next year. Maybe put in a, uh, a weeping tile or something like that and then uh, build up maybe a hump or something in the patch like this so that the stumps can be a little bit higher but it's two foamy stumps and both of them are in that area so i um, thinking we've got some drainage issues but um, again don't know the exact weight on here we're probably somewhere around 500 pounds um, don't know that for sure but uh, if I get a thousand pounds on this one I'll be happy uh, plant is relatively hap happy and healthy. Got a couple of little side vines still in there, probably about five or six that are still growing. Uh, I'm not weeding. I have not weeded in the last two or three days, and then with the rain, it's probably going to get worse. So I'll probably just come in here with a weed whacker, take that down, and then loop hoe it here. Once it dries out, um, mainly been focusing on other plants, so that's one of the reasons. We'll go over here to the 826 Bayouk. Um, this plant's roughly about 200, 250 square feet. Not very big right now. Overtaken by weeds. It lost its stump. It split its pumpkin. So it's uh, on the back burners to say the least. But we did get a fruit um, pollinated about four days ago. And that's where she's at now. Nice long stem there give you an idea it's pretty nice long stem long pumpkin so hopefully we just have a nice little porch pumpkin there carry the genetics that I was looking for uh, have to walk around here to get to the other pumpkins since it's so wet I can't take a couple of the other directions coming up here on the 2294 knoll um, Couple of growers love to call it bird bath. One particular grower, uh, Chris, he he called it the koi pond because it's so large. Um, nice fruit going on that one. This uh, plant's got roughly about a thousand current square feet, and it's still growing side vines. And it's also still got its main vine going, which is this one right here. That one right there. And it's coming around and I'm going to loop it across the patch and I'll terminate these side vines here shortly. Um, I was trying to wait another three or four days and then with this rain there's going to be another kick in growth. So um, I'm going to wait to terminate those just for a few more days at least. You're supposed to terminate them when the pumpkin hits about day 20, day 25, some go to 30 and uh, terminate those. But... Um, it's hot here, there's disease, you get powdery mildew, and I go down to like 10 pounds a day on the mid to back side of August, and I didn't want 10 pounds a day, so I'm figuring newer leaves would uh, kind of fuel a little bit of 20, 20 plus pound days here in late August, and uh, that's something I want to shoot for is uh, continue these the growth on these pumpkins. Um, never know unless you try something, so... I'm going to probably terminate here 
probably in the next three or four days that'll put that pumpkin somewhere around 45 days when I terminate those. Over here this plant starting right here in this area that's about 1100 square feet and this is the 2350 Ginger, the Tiger King plant. Um, this pumpkin has uh, been pretty easy to grow, knock on wood. Uh, it's starting to swallow up its backside there. I have docanilled the blossom end. I did not cut off the blossom end. I do not like to create wounds where wounds do not need to be created. So um, if you're one that cuts them off, that's fine. If it works for you, it works for you. And uh, as long as it doesn't take down your pumpkin, all more power, right? So um, getting some some facial checks there you'll you'll see it on that side and there's another one on the other side just put a fan or captain powder or sulfur powder on it um, I do not have electricity so I pretty much only put captain powder on it and then uh, just put her out in the sun when it's dry so she's doing pretty good kicking in there uh, she will be 52 days old on next Tuesday I believe I'm sorry next Wednesday she'll be 52 days old so uh, she's right there around 48 49 days old right now I think 48 really pretty pumpkin especially on the, the face side um, plants in relatively good condition again I have some side vines still growing and I also have the main vine growing so um, Doing everything I can to continue late season numbers is my goal. Uh, don't have any numbers on these pumpkins right now. Exacts. I will tell you these two pumpkins right here are well over a thousand pounds. Um, I'm trying for four thousand pounds between three fruit. That's why I said that other one needs to be a thousand. Because I anticipate these two going at least fifteen hundred pounds. Um, anything more would be great. But uh, going for the grower's jacket there for four or uh, three fruit over four thousand pounds, and uh, you know we'll see what happens um, on anything better than that. But uh, really need to just continue seeing the growth that I've been getting. Uh, this one here is still in the 40s as far as pounds per day. Uh, it's low 40s. I'll say that, but it is still 40 pounds. And that one there, uh, as of three days ago, was in the 50s and is in the high 40s, I would assume, right now. Um, I did see a 60-pound day on this one, and I, I did not measure in a small enough time period on that one to see if it got up to 60, but I would assume uh, that it did on at least one day. Um... Things that I did differently this year, so just to kind of give a little information, things I did this, this year is I religiously buried the, the, the leaf nodes uh, at the beginning. Um, but I can't do that all year long because of the humidity. I'll get fine rot, I'll get uh, a gummy stem. I've had to cut off several leaves because of that. You can see some of the wind damage here, but that's okay. Those will stand back up. Um, so I had to stop burying and just kind of put nestle some t top soil up to the bottom of the stems where the nodes would come out just so that the darkness would be there and encourage that root growth mycorrhiza i used mycorrhiza religiously on every time i buried um, i religiously pulled male flowers female flowers off of plants um, i weeded early i'm not weeding now as you can see i do not have the pristine pretty patch but if you look inside my plants they're relatively weed free which is huge for me um, so these are the best plants that I've ever had obviously these are the best pumpkins I ever had my personal best was 1068 and as long as these pumpkins stay healthy I'll be able to uh, have a personal best on at least one or two or three plants so that's awesome um, any other questions just let me know there's a couple other things that I did just fertilizer wise uh, things that I can't hit in this video, but uh, I just want y'all to 
kind of build the community make sure that you guys are uh, commenting uh if you if you have any questions go ahead and, and ask i also accept emails uh and, and things like that so uh go ahead and uh ask away if you have any questions if not i'll see you on the next one growing big